Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope you're having a good day. It's a cold one here, it's like 52 degrees. And it was 75 yesterday, and it's supposed to be about 28 or 30 tonight. So I thought it would be a good night to make soup. Now I will put the link to the soup recipe in the description box. It's on my Pinterest page. It's called Crock Pot Tortilla Soup. But I'm not going to make it in a crock pot. I'm just going to simmer it on top of the stove. So let me tell you what it says it needs. One pound of chicken breast. You could use canned chicken if you wanted to. One medium onion, diced. If you don't have a fresh onion, use dehydrated onion. Two cloves of garlic, minced. Again, you can use dehydrated or like I'm doing, jar garlic. Let's see, a 15 ounce, ooh, 15 ounce can of chicken broth, cup of water, it says you can use beef broth if you don't have chicken broth, cup of water, a 15 ounce can of corn, 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the green chilies like Rotel, 11 ounce can of enchilada sauce, a packet of taco seasoning, chili powder, salt and pepper to taste and for topping shredded cheese and tortilla chips and i also i forgot to get my chili powder out have green onions also for uh topping let me put you on pause and i'll find it all right found my chili powder what i did was well this morning i went to food land and i got a small pack of chicken it was uh, bone in thighs and legs and it had uh, three thighs three legs for two dollars and three cent because it was marked down so i just went ahead and made my own chicken broth i'd rather use my chicken broth than canned it's up to you use what you got you can easily make this just a pantry meal by using what you have using canned chicken so basically what i'm reading is it's just a question of dumping it so let's see Get a burner start. I'm using, let me turn you down. Same pot I cooked my chicken in. So I'm going to put the medium onion in first. I've got it diced. And when I think of medium, I think of about the size of a tennis ball or a softball. Large to me is, or not a softball, um, baseball. Baseball is the small one, softball is the big one. When I think of large, I think of softball. Okay, we're going to put two cloves of garlic in. So, let's get a spoon. I'm just going to guess at it. Just look on your jar and it'll tell you what equals a clove. We'll see, this one says, mm, well, maybe it won't. I thought they did. Usually they do. It's usually like, a, I think a half of a teaspoon equals a clove, I believe. I don't see it on this one. Anyway, got the garlic in, got the onion in. I'm not going to put all this chicken in because I'm not sure if I need it all. I'm going to put about half. I'm making this for my daughter and my granddaughter to eat too. So I need a cup of chicken broth. And a cup of water, so I'm going to get my water first. I'm going to go ahead and put my cup of water in. So we got one medium onion diced, two cloves of garlic, one cup of water, and it says one pound of chicken, so I'm just guessing at the chicken. I just added some. And then it says a 15 ounce can of chicken broth, so that means we're going to do about two cups of chicken broth then. I'll put the rest of this in the freezer for later. Okay, we've got that in there. Okay, what else? 15 ounce can of corn. I just got this kind. You can use whatever you want. Let me turn another light on, it's a little dark. You can use whatever you want. So we're gonna use this one. It says don't drain it, so I'm get it open. 
All right, we'll put that in. Okay, what's next? Let's see. 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, green chilies. I just got the Food Lion, mild. You can get the medium. The medium, to me, is a little hotter. So we'll add that in. Again, it says don't drain. And that's the diced tomatoes with green chilies. And then it says add 11 ounce can of enchilada sauce. All I had were 10 ounce cans. So this is the one I got, the mild. So I'm going to put this in. When I was at Myrtle Beach, there was a restaurant there called Burro Loco. If I'm not mistaken, it was owned by the same people that owned the Carolina Roadhouse. But they had the best tortilla soup because I don't like a lot of stuff in mine. I like a, and you've heard me talk about soups, I like a thin soup. I don't like it thick and chunky. And I think they've closed now, but that was the best place to get tortilla soup to me. All right, let's see. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. There you go. And it says salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to wait till it simmers a little bit before I put salt and pepper in it. Since we've got chili powder and um, let me get some scissors. Um, the tomatoes and chili, I, I just don't want to get it too hot. So that's one pack of taco seasoning. Use homemade or whatever you have, it doesn't matter. And basically, let's see, it doesn't look like too much chicken. I think I'm gonna add the rest of this chicken in here. Put the rest of it in there. Basically, that's it. Now, like I said, if you were doing this in the crock pot, it says, let's see how long it says takes. If you're doing it in the crock pot, it says eight to 10 hours. So I think I'm gonna bring this to a boil and let it simmer for 30 minutes because basically everything in here is cooked except the onions and it won't take that long. And then we'll see how it looks. And I'll let you know if we should cook it longer. Now I've got the green onions to chop up to put on top of it because I like green onions on mine. And I also have some tortilla chips and I have some shredded Mexican cheese to put on top. But let me bring this up to a boil and let's see what happens and I'll clean up the kitchen while I'm waiting for this to simmer a little bit. Now I'll bring you back. All right, guys, let's taste it and see. Can you see how good it looks? I think that amount of chicken was just right. It was um, a little over two pounds of raw chicken. So once you cooked it and uh, got the meat off the bones, you probably had about a pound. But let's see. Definitely taste the corn in it. Oh, yeah, you can taste the heat. I don't think I would add any more pepper, maybe just a little bit of salt. But I, I mean, unless you like things really hot, I don't think I would add any pepper. Let me get a spoon here to dip it out with. I'm gonna try a bowl of it tonight and then take some to my daughter and granddaughter later. Get the cheese open and let's see the chips. Like I said, this is a quick meal and you can do it in the crock pot like it says, but I mean, other than deboning the chicken and making the stock, it's really not about 30 minutes because you can use canned stock and you can also use canned chicken. So if you want to make a quick meal, this would do it. I think the only thing I would change for me is I don't think I would put that whole can of tomatoes in there. I think I would put half of that can of tomatoes 
and some tomato sauce because I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. I just don't care about them. But let's see. Put a little cheese on there, a little green onion that I chopped up, a few tortilla chips. Whoops, and there you go. Let's see how it tastes with everything on it. Let me pull you up here. That's a quick meal on a cold night. Let's see. I don't think it needs anything. I think it's fine just like this. Let's see. Put you back down. I think it's fine just like this. All right, guys. I hope you have a good night. Whoops. Whoops. Keep losing you. Stay, stay warm. And I will talk to you guys later. Try this recipe. It'll be in the description box below. Bye-bye.